What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason and Joe here, tier list March Badness. Uh, we used to do uh, kind of like bracket style bad music tournaments in the month of March. This year, we are doing bad music tier lists for the entire month. Uh, and this is going to be the last one of, of these. Next next week, we'll get back to maybe something good. But uh, we're going to close things out with a tier list of some bad lyrics from hit songs. This is another one that I grabbed from a bunch of different lists that I found online. So we got a variety of things. Okay, here we go. I got some of these written down, like the lines that are supposed to be bad, but some of them are like the entire song. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, all right, first one's Avril Lavigne, Skater Boy. And the uh, the the line in question is the, uh, he was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? He was a punk, she did ballet. What more is there to say? Or something? There's a lot what more to say. say? Uh, I just played a song last night in my gig. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm very familiar with Avril's Skater Boy. Uh, that's pretty lame, but I, I can't, I can't believe like it's even close to the worst. No, it's not. There's some, there's some real bad stuff here. Yeah, like I, I don't. S would be the worst. We're, we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. So S is the the best bad lyric. I mean, she's what, she's like 16 years old when she wrote this. Uh, probably like a D for me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe C. Yeah, we'll get D. D's fine, sure. We can move it around if if necessary. All right, next we got Black Eyed Peas with My Humps. I know you're not a Fergie fan. It's basically the whole song in this case. <laughs> my, my Lovely Lady Lumps. Lovely Lady Lumps. Yeah, not the best. Uh, that'd be like an A or B for me. I think. I think. I think we can do worse, but yeah, it's, it's tough because you're almost like numb to how bad all of them are by the time you know the song's over. So, calling them humps is bad enough, but then to call them lumps, especially lady lumps, that's that's not. <laughs> all right, next up, this is one I had to write down. Uh. This is a long one. Chris Brown. Do you know this one? Look at me now. Mm, I've heard it, but I'm I don't know what the, the lyric in question would be. Uh so the the lyric is and she accidentally slip and fall on my dick. Oops, I said on my dick. I ain't really mean to say on my dick, but now that we talk about my dick, all you haters say hi to it. That's yeah, that's something. That's 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 uh, God, I mean that's got to be S. Yeah, it's just one of the one of the dumber things I think I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, real bad. I guess I never listened to the lyrics before. I mean, there's a couple. There's one coming up that I can't believe. It's in a song that I've heard a million times, and I never heard the, <laughs> heard the line before. Yeah. Uh, we'll Sometimes, yeah, you just don't even, don't even. All right, next up. We've got Color Me Bad, the song I Want to Sex You Up. Uh, this one is, girl, you make me feel real good. We can do it till we both wake up. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a song I've heard 800 times. I never... I guess the idea that they were going for is like, we can do it till the morning. And they just <laughs> yeah, that's fumbled the execution what... on that one. <laughs> yeah. That's that's probably S. That's that's pretty terrible. Okay, that one's bad. Then we got Highway Star by Deep Purple going a little more classic rock with this one. Uh, a lot of car analogies in this song. If you've ever heard it before, I'm sure you've noticed that. But uh, you've also got the line, she's got everything like a moving mouth, body control and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lyrics on this are terrible and you shouldn't listen to that let me just listen to that sweet sweet organ uh, that is the downfall of ian gillen he is a pretty bad lyricist yeah and i mean you should be able to write a song about comparing a you know a woman to a car like there's a lot of fertile ground there the fact that like that's all he could come up with like that reminds me of like writing a, a speech in like third grade or something where 
you didn't want to do the research so you're just like and everything else and everything yeah <laughs> do you think it's a or b uh i don't think it's or do you think it's s <laughs> no it's not s it's it's probably better than lovely lady lumps plus it's deep purple it's... yeah we'll go b yeah all right next up uh we got destiny's child the song bills 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 the lyric is can you pay my bills can you pay my telephone bills can you pay my automo bills then maybe we can chill i don't think you do so you and me are through the pro i mean the problem for me is the word do it doesn't make sense it should be i don't think you can yeah but then that wouldn't rhyme with through yeah, it's tough. I'm trying to think, like the cadence of the song is kind of weird too. So I don't think it's quite as like obviously bad when you're listening to it. Like it's automobiles is kind of clever. I'll mm-hmm. give them. I'll give them that one. But uh... yeah, I don't think that's terrible. I think it's like a C or a D. We'll guess. We'll guess see. All right, Janet Jackson. This song's. Feedback. I I don't know that I can even place this song. It was a hit. It went to number nineteen on the charts. But the line. Do you know this song? Um, this is like not... a later comeback. I think it's like two thousand seven or something. The line here is, "My swag is serious. I'm heavy like a first day period." That's that's pretty bad. I want to know if this is before or after Nipplegate because well, we've been blaming Nipplegate a lot for her uh, career kind of downfall, but I think maybe it's that line. Yeah, it was from 2008, so that is, I don't know, when was Nipplegate? 2000... Right around then, right? Yeah, it was earlier. I think it's after Nipplegate, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely earlier. I think it was just 20 years, so it was probably 04. Yeah, okay. No, that's probably like a A for me. Yeah. yeah. That's, that feels right. <laughs> next next up, this one almost seems a little quaint compared to some of these. Uh, but we got Jewel. My hands are small, I know, and they're not yours, they are my own. There's a funny <laughs> there's some funny memes of like a T Rex with those lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh yes. Very good for the memes. It was a big hit, so yeah, People. and I see what she's saying. It's just not done the best. Like she's, mm-hmm. she's saying that like she can only do so much, and she, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I see Awkward, the intention. But, but yeah, it's, it's not great. No, it's it's just bad imagery. Lazy. I'd probably like a D. I agree. Next up, Killers. One of my favorite killer songs, maybe even my very favorite killer song. Some people, <laughs> this line bothers them so much. I think it's cool. Uh, are we human or are we dancer? Uh, uh, it's probably an F. Yeah. It's, I, I don't even think, I mean, I, I think they're pretty lousy lyricists in general, but that wouldn't even be in my top 20 of you know, stilted lyrics from Brandon Flowers. Uh, LFO, Summer Girls. This is the full song. This is there's it's so many there's so many crazy lines in this song. My favorite is probably the uh, what is it? Shooby Doo Wop and Scooby Snacks. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I gotta look up the whole song here real quick. Yeah, the New Kids on the Block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. Like just the like, where is that? coming from that always bugged me and i think it's fly when girls stop by for the summer like those are just three completely incongruous like trains of thought like where where does that fit in in any way uh it's, i mean it's not even like a rhyme like they're not even rhyming there so why why use those lyrics yeah it's probably an s for me i think it is one of the worst yeah, it's like total like placeholder lyrics that they just never wrote real words for. I do like the only good thing is when they say Billy Shakespeare instead of William Shakespeare. I think 
That's that's cute. I like that. Everything else sucks. You like to flip Bill and Will's preferred. I do. Yep. Name. With Joel. <laughs> I mean, it's it's always hilarious to do that kind of stuff. All right. Next up, we got Lil Yachty, the song Peekaboo. This one blew up online. This was kind of like a meme because he actually commented on the lyric and made another mistake in in his comment. But uh, are you are you familiar with this? No, I'm, I'm not hearing this one. The line is blow my dick like a cello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, I mean, that's excellent. <laughs> so then he said, my bad. I thought Squidward <laughs> played a cello. <laughs> uh, but he doesn't. He plays a flute, which he doesn't play a flute. He plays clarinet. Oh, uh, man. So, yeah. As nobody what he's talking about. I'm taking back my song of the year for the Black <laughs> Seminole. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's as. I think it's actually kind of... <laughs> <laughs> It's hilarious. It's so bad. It's good. Yeah, I'm, I I can't go higher than B. Yeah, I don't know. I'm all. I almost want to put it in F. <laughs> yeah, put it, let's put it in F. Forget it. Yeah, <laughs> F that. That's good. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. That's so good. There's really no other reason to listen to that song. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the lyrics. That's something. The whole thing. <laughs> all right. Going back to another classic one, we got sucking on chili dogs. <laughs> that is a terrible line. That's always bugging me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Jack and Diane to begin with, and sucking on chili dogs behind the tasty freeze. Is that what he says? Outside the tasty freeze or behind Outside it? The- I don't know where they're yeah. sucking on them, but <laughs> I, I think it's, yeah, it's A or B. I think B, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Next up, first of all, let's appreciate this single artwork from Nickelback Animals. Uh, this is another one that's the whole song. There's some insane stuff in this song. It is, <laughs> it is Chad Kroger's creepiest, perviest set of lyrics that he ever wrote. It's also, I think somebody mentioned this in the Discord. The single for uh faith no more's cover of easy they stole it oh yeah um, really yeah another strike against nickelback if they need it anymore um what's 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 the worst line in this song let's let's bring it up here i really gotta dive in okay your mom don't know that you were missing she'd be pissed if she could see the parts of you that i've been kissing it's got to be. I think that's that's the top for me. Uh, <laughs> so bad. They're so unsexy. It's almost insane. Yes, right. I th- I think so. <laughs> it's just the maybe not that line is quite as bad, but the the cumulative effect of all the lyrics and that has got to be an S. Uh, next we've got Pink. This is a personal pet peeve lyric of mine. I hate it. You're just like a pill. Instead of me making me better, you're making me ill. Which I mean, I guess there are pills that can make you ill, but like generally speaking, that is the opposite of a pill. So you are nothing like a pill. Uh, I just think it's such bad writing. Well, I think what she's trying to say is she expects the pill to make her better, but it's a poison pill, so it's making her worse, which is yeah. not what she was expecting from the pill. Well, then why is he just like a pill? She, she's comparing him to specifically one bad pill that she had. Like, you're just like that poison pill. Perhaps. Um, I'm not an accomplished songwriter like Pink. I can tell you. I think it's A tier. I think it sucks. It's so bad. Uh, I was going to say like C. C. All right, we'll get B it's... then. It's bad, but... Next up, I had to get one in by these guys. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Around the World. Uh, there's a lot of bad stuff in this song, but we're going with Bonafide Ride, Step Aside My Johnson, Yes I Could, In the Woods of Wisconsin. 
<laughs> There's also the part where he just goes ding, ding, dong, dong, ding, ding, dong, dong in this song as well. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of this song because of the bass line. It's great. Great bass line. Uh, lyrically, it's as nonsensical as the LFO song. It is it's just. I like this one because like there's like 14 instances where he's like referencing a state and then he says mother Russia and like that's oh he says the Swiss mountains too so I know Sicily too okay he's and all Bob. over the place he's all around the world <laughs> yeah he really is wow okay so that's good he, he works in a lot of different locales interesting um I don't know you, you choose I don't I don't hate I mean it's a for me yeah that's I'm sure at least all right rocket man this is another one <laughs> I bring it up all the time every time we talk about Elton, but I think that verse about Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kid. In fact, it's cold as hell, and there's no one there to raise them if you did. That is so bad. Yeah, it's pretty... I saw pretty your bad. song on a couple bad lyric lists, too. The uh, People really don't like the If I Was a Sculptor, but then again, no. That's good because he's, you know, actually like working out the lyrics in the song. That's clever. This, yeah, that 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 whole verse always bugged me. I love the song. I don't care. Um I don't know. I mean, Bernie Toppin is just a weird songwriter sometimes. Like he throws in a bunch of just nonsense lyrics. He's a great lyricist sometimes. And then other times it's just like why did you come up with that and why did you put it in there like where do you even like yeah why i don't know it's like a c like the first line is interesting mars ain't the kind of place to raise a kid and then he just didn't know how to write the rest of the verse and he just like filled he it with with couldn't think of anything to write with kid so what did you say d b d c uh i said c okay mm, i'd rather it be but all right uh all right this is the one every picture tells a story by rod stewart i've heard this mm -hmm. song so many times do you know the line in question by i just listened to this the other day i bet i know it's probably a little racist right yeah okay i fell in love with a slit-eyed lady by the light of an eastern moon yeah yeah, yeah. I had no idea that that was in there. Yeah, I, I did notice that a couple times ago when listening to it. Um, you know, back in the 70s, you could say that kind of stuff. And that was that's right after he says, on the Peking Ferry, I was feeling merry, which is a great line. Uh, but yeah, the whole film of the slit-eyed lady by the light of an eastern moon. I don't know. Where do, where do you put racism? <laughs> yeah. Here is racism. Which is the racism tier? Uh, it's still not as bad as Summer Girls. <laughs> uh, a, I guess. I don't know. That's fine. It's also not as bad as the whole Chris Brown <laughs> yeah, talking about his dick for like five lines in a row. Yeah. Uh, all right. Then we're going to go with Cisco's thong song. She's got dumps like a truck, which was misconstrued by many to, to mean poops. <laughs> yeah. That would be an awkward lyric. Uh, that's like a truck. Truck, truck. Baby, baby, what? I mean, isn't that really on the audience? Unless on Cisco the Dragon himself? I think you have to have some awareness that things might be taken out of, you know, the way you mean them. Yeah, yeah. Probably like an A or B. All right. All right, now we got back-to-back -back train lyrics. There's a bunch of bad lines in both of these songs. First one up is Drops of Jupiter. You've got, I, I don't know, stuff about chicken wings and soy lattes and just a bunch of stupid stuff. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of buzzwords. Um, which one do I hate the most? But this one's definitely not as bad as the next one. I mean, it's kind of lame. In the little, I I find it a little endearing. 
the the drops of Jupiter one. And I don't mind the song. And he gets so much worse. Like you really pine for these days. By the time you get to freaking whatever the run over by a something purple scion and <laughs> I mean this is C or D. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get Either D. one. Yeah. Drops Jupiter though. This this one. We've talked about uh Hey Soul Sister a bunch. It won, right? I believe it won the worst song badness mm -hmm. tournament that year. There's the whole like Madonna line in it and then the untrimmed chest stuff and mm. really the that's probably what the second verse, the your sweet moonbeam, the smell of you in every dream I dream. Really smelling people in your dreams there, buddy? It's it's lazy writing. Yeah, the whole thing's really bad. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it hits S though. Like a virgin, you're a Madonna, and I'm always going to want to. That one's that's bad. For me, it's an A. I think the Nickelback. Really? Worst lyrics, yeah. Oh, uh, man. Would, would you put it in S? It's got to go at least top of A. It's, yeah, it's probably S. I think it's super. I, yeah. We'll get top of A. Next, we got Madonna, American Life, more soy lattes. <laughs> I didn't write this one down. It's too long, but it's that whole rap. I believe this was my least favorite Madonna album. Okay, so I'm drinking a soy latte. I get a double shot. It goes right to my body. And you know I'm satisfied. I drive my Mini Cooper and I'm feeling super duper. Yo, they tell me I'm a trooper and you know I'm satisfied. Yoga and Pilates. Room is full of hotties. Digging on the ice. Okay. It's real cringe, real cringe. If probably like an A or B. Yeah, I think it's A. All right, then we got Van Halen. Why can't this be love? Only time will tell if we'll stand the test of time. F. I love that line. That is a genius line. <laughs> I don't it's think it's genius, but compared to everything else here. Yeah, well, yeah, compared to everything else, it's it's on the level of the the Lil Yachty. Uh, next, we've got Michael Jackson just coming right out of the gate with your butt is mine. <laughs> uh, that's an F for me. I don't, I, I mean, just say it like you mean it. Uh, then we've got <laughs> Puddle of Mud with the song Control. I like the way you look at me. I like the way you smack my ass. I love the dirty things you do. I have control of you. Uh, I love this song. Not really, but I love that like that refrain is repeated like four times, like harder and harder. Uh, God, I totally forgot that the song even existed. I haven't heard this one in so long. You lock me up inside your dirty cage. Yeah, Good one. Chain me to the bed. Uh, it's a really bad song. Good lord. I think it's like C tier. It's like it is bad, but it I think it's pretty standard for the genre. Yeah, I mean it's not even close to being the same level as like Nickelback. Like this is like the Nickelback light version. Yep. Um yeah. Next we have Hillary Duff from the song So Yesterday and the line If the light isn't on, it's off. <laughs> It's not as good as only time will tell if we stand the test of time. Uh, but I don't know. It's a just a dumb throwaway, I guess, C or D. Yeah, it's a D. Uh, next, we've got Shakira from Whenever, Wherever in the line. Lucky that my breasts are small and humble, so you don't confuse them with the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> That was always one that got brought up just because I don't know, you're taking shots at yourself. It doesn't seem like a, I don't know, thing that you should do if you're a budding, you know, R and B superstar. Seems Don't like she's get... not aware of how many degrees of breast size there are between her small and humble breasts and and mountains. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a uh, quite a range in there. But maybe maybe something was lost in translation there. I'm not not sure. 
Uh, it's it's bad. It's not it's not S or A. I could see B or C. We'll go yeah. C just to kind of even the tears out. Works. And then we got the classic Uno Dos Tres Catorce from you two. Vertigo. Pretty lame. I feel like somebody said there was a story behind that. Like it was based on something. I don't know if that's true and I don't really care. Oh, it's like a C for me. I think it's just kind of dopey. Yeah. Dopey dad joke from dad rock band you two. All right, let's make this thing look. Let's pull down an A. Okay. I mean, I think I think it's got to be either Janet or Black Eyed Peas. I think these other four have to stay at least A. Actually, I think Train's got to go up. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine then. That looks good. Any terrible lyrics that always stick in your mind that we didn't get on here? Um. Yeah, but I can't think of any right now. I'm trying to think what if there's any ones that really just annoy the hell out of me. I mean, I was into Coheed and Muse, so not lyrics aren't really a sticking point for me. All right, well, let us know what we missed. I'm sure there's tons of other bad lyrics out there and hit songs. Uh, let us know how you you think we did with the tier list, what you would have done differently. So leave us comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, check the video description for links to Patreon and social media stuff, and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.